everybody wants money and everybody promises you to have or to make tons of money and it's never enough whether you make hundred dollars or few hundred dollars or even millions hi i'm irena baker also known as spiritual awareness wealth consciousness mentor it's normal for people to have to want money which is actually everybody wants more money thinking that their life will be easier and happier and more satisfying but the truth is do you really want money or what money actually represents what money actually can provide for you personally my grandparents back in russia long long time ago had sacks full of money literally and when the bolshevik revolution took place and the bolsheviks changed currency so my grandparents money became obsolete actually so then my grandparents were putting them use them as a wallpaper so they were one minute they were they were rich and the next minute they had no money whatsoever and so it's not the actual money but it's what money represents right and what what we actually want and we think that we need money to get that so the first thing we want to feel safe we want to feel safe saying that i want to feel safe so all my bills are paid and all my obligations are met i also want to feel secure you would say right because feeling secure means i'm not going to be homeless i will not lose my possessions the house the car and so forth so i want to feel secure i also want to feel free first of all free from the debt slavery second i want to feel free with my time with doing what i want not being stuck at the job i hate or not being stuck in a business that doesn't bring any money so freedom means every different things for everybody but don't you don't you agree that everybody would want to feel free free to self-express feel to travel free to do whatever you want and of course everybody wants to feel comfortable comfortable to go to the store open the wallet and buy whatever you want without thinking twice that's what my dream was back in russia a long time ago and i spent so many years more now more than 20 years looking for that dream to open my wallet without thinking and being able to buy what i want and you want to be pampered because you want those things that considered luxury you want a good reliable not only reliable but a great car you want a very nice beautiful house and you want things that such as we women like to go to a spa i love to go to las vegas just for the purpose of going to a spa because they're so amazing there and i really love them so everybody has their own idea of how they would like to be pampered and uh, feeling comfortable and we all want to be independent independent from maybe perhaps stale marriage or independent from a job that again we don't like or independent in terms of i make my own money and i feel good about it because i don't have to depend on somebody who mistreats me or somebody who is not good to me and so forth so all these desires actually are very important for people and that's what usually money can give you all these feelings of safety comfort independence feeling free pampered and so forth and secure and wouldn't you agree that we all have a birthright and we all want one thing we want wealth we want satisfaction and we want to achieve them the easy way we don't want to struggle and suffer 
because we've been very proficient at that, don't you think? I would like to address these three areas of limitation, wealth, satisfaction, and the easy way. So the first one is wealth. A lot of people have a strong fear that money is limited. No matter how much you make, you can make tons of money and feel, oh my gosh, I have money now and it will be gone tomorrow. Or you don't have much money and you say, what, where, where am I going to make money? How money is coming to my life? And so fear the money is limited here today, gone tomorrow. And the opposite of that would be, I feel safe and free. Wouldn't you want to feel safe and free without thinking where the money is coming from and whether or not you will get sufficient money to pay your bills or to pay your obligations or, and to pay your obligations. The second area is the satisfaction. And so we are afraid a lot of times that opportunities are limited. Perhaps you're stuck at a job that you don't like because no other jobs are available, you think. Or in your business, you struggle with cash flow because opportunities are limited. You don't know where to find your opportunity to attract clients. And the opposite would be, in my opinion, as I follow my soul and it gives me great satisfaction. I follow my soul purpose, what I came here to do on earth, and it gives me great satisfaction. And since I follow my purpose, then the universe is providing tons of opportunities for me to follow my purpose. And the third area of big limitation, in my opinion, is the belief that only hard work and sacrifice are the sure path to success. Well, is it really true? Because people who work in mines, are they really wealthy? They wouldn't work there, right? So they really own cotton field. They work so hard. They might work two jobs, but they're not wealthy. So it's not really hard work and sacrifice and suffer, suffering and struggle bring you success. As you can see in the world, I, I know you can see that in the world. Not everybody who works hard is wealthy the opposite of that i'm in a flow and the universe helps me accomplish my goals without struggle i am in the flow of life and the universe helps me accomplish my goals without struggle that means we still have to work i'm right now working creating this video but i have i'm having fun i am doing what i love and i'm impacting people and so that's not a struggle that's not a sacrifice that's actually yes it's work but it's a in the flow work and so don't you agree by listening right now about wealth and satisfaction the easy way that's what would be a good goal to follow or it would be great to create wealth and satisfaction the easy way I spent more than 20 years of searching how to become prosperous, how to open my wallet and buy what I want. I also wanted to be satisfying, doing what I love, not being stuck as a slave at some place where I absolutely don't belong. And I did not want to struggle and suffer. I've done it a lot in my life. And I really wanted to be in the flow and be guided by the divine and in, in guided by the divine in creating my goals, my projects. Only way to achieve what I wanted, as I found through my personal research and working with many people, is you have to change your consciousness because no amount of money that you will make or you will uh, win in the lottery, slim chance, right? will not make you satisfied will not really solve your any of your problems and will not make you feel safe and secure in the long run why because it's actually the opposite 
we people a lot of people got it backwards they think that money will make them safe and secure but the truth is first you feel safe and secure inside and then money will be shown into your life or will money will show up in your life to reflect what you feel so everything outside reflects what you feel or what you believe in inside and if you believe inside that you're safe and secure and you allow yourself to be pampered and be comfortable then money will reflect from outside what your landscape inside is telling you or showing to you and do you know only one ingredient that actually separates two types of consciousness? And in order to feel safe and secure, you have to leave one type of consciousness behind and move into the other type. And so these two types, the first one is a deprivation consciousness. And when you leave the deprivation consciousness you get the key to to your freedom because you open that prison that is internal prison that keeps you in deprivation consciousness and you can have money in that deprivation consciousness but you're not safe you're not secure you're not satisfied so there are problems there so when you move into wealth consciousness that's already a different story as you can see by the title or the name and so how we do we do it how do we go from the deprivation consciousness into the wealth consciousness so there is one ingredient and it's the vibrational frequency you have to change your frequency in order to change your consciousness it's not how much money you make it's not what you're doing it's not what you're doing physically outwardly it's the vibrational frequency of your consciousness because consciousness is energy as everything else in the world and the only way to change to shift your consciousness to attract money and satisfaction the easy way is to increase your vibrational frequency what i've learned in in life from my research and my practice is that the divine is the source of all material things including money maybe you heard that maybe not and i can believe i'm even talking about it because with my background from russia when religion was prohibited and god did not exist now i'm talking about that but this is this shows my huge progress in the consciousness so again divine is the source of all material things including money but it's easier said than done right in my training that i now offer to my clients i teach tools and techniques on how to find freedom from deprivation consciousness and move into the wealth consciousness by raising your vibrational frequency and there are three steps that you absolutely must take in order to accomplish that and that is restoring your self-value it's inside it's your self-esteem but it cannot be changed by outside means you cannot keep telling yourself oh well, i have such a great self self what self-esteem well there is subconscious mind and you have to really convince your subconscious mind really change that perception in your subconscious mind about your self-value so that's the first step the second step to connect with the divine you have to establish a two-way communication for so you can connect you have direct channel to the divine two-way communication somebody mentioned one time oh i pray i have such a great connection i pray well you pray but do you hear the other side? do you hear the divine calling you back so that's two-way communication and the third one is we have to find radiant power radiant power is inside of us but many many people don't have it don't want it don't are afraid of it and so without that the easy part is not really being 
you, you won't be able to accomplish the easy part. And so once again, restore your self-value. That will give you wealth. Second step, establish your two-way communication with the divine. That will give you satisfaction. And the third one, find your radiant power and bring forth all your desires that are um, in alignment with the divine desires easily, without struggle. Yes, through work, but with no sacrifice. And that's the ultimate goal for many people. They, sometimes we don't even know that. And so if you would like, if you would like to learn more about this wonderful process I've designed or just want to know more about the steps and so forth, I would like, I would encourage you to go to my web website, radiantmastery.com, radiantmastery.com, click on the banner and receive a free gift, which is a blueprint that I've designed uh, through my research of more than 20 years on the steps and explanations and whole process it's a step-by-step -step process how to move from deprivation consciousness into the wealth consciousness a lot of details a lot of information a lot of case studies so that's the process the roadmap that is necessary in my opinion in my professional knowledge to really leave those fears feeling of not safe, not secure, fears that money is limited, here today, gone tomorrow. And so all this deprivation consciousness that a lot of people live in, into the wealth consciousness, when you feel safe and secure, when you feel pampered and comfortable and free to do what you want, to do how you want it, because you are the conscious, deliberate creator, not the slave of your circumstances. And so, and remember, it is your birthright to achieve wealth and satisfaction the easy way.